now with one of the biggest Cubs fans on the planet, Vince Vaughn, and his new movie, Hexar Ridge, is getting rave reviews. It follows the true story of a World War II Army medic who saved 75 lives, all without using a weapon. Take a look. There's something off in your presentation, Private. Can't place it. Is it your hair? Is it the wrinkle in your trousers? I have a knife in my foot, Sarge. Oh, yes. Of course. That's it, the knife. What is your name, soldier? Spitty Riker. No, your name is Private Idiot. Nice <laughs> to see you. Congratulations Richard, on everything. You know what, Good man? To see you. Congratulations to you. And this is a fantastic movie. And congratulations on the Cubs win. I'm surprised you made it in this morning. I am too. I, I thought you going to. I am too. You I, I almost. To I was going to go uh, to the game, but I knew I had to be here early, and I didn't know if I could get back in time. But I ended up staying up just as late anyway. But it was exciting. What an unbelievable game. Unbelievable game. We're appreciative that you. Yeah, did. I'm great to be here with you always. And um, Hacksaw, but let, before we get more to the game, but Hacksaw Ridge, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a serious movie, a serious role by you, but somehow you always seem to infuse a little comedy in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, you know, Mel Gibson's such a great storyteller. He's a great director. And I mean, Apocalypto, Braveheart, Passions. Mm -hmm. And this is a true story about a guy that just had such conviction and was able to accomplish so much and put himself in harm's way for his brothers in arms so it's just an amazing story I couldn't even believe it when it first came across yeah. my desk and then the part of the drill sergeant well, you know your job is to bring them together as a unit and his choices bring some particular challenges to that so it was really on the page to have uh, a lot of the humor and stuff and then as well as a lot of the drama and things that play out as well and, and Mel was here earlier in the week and he spoke so highly of you and um, but working with Mel Gibson is there anything you learned from that experience so much I mean he's such a master storyteller when you when you see the film and you see all of his films there's some really like the love story with Teresa Palmer is just incredible that's mm -hmm. such a great innocent love uh, and it, you kind of feel in a visceral way in that relationship and that juxtaposed when you go to war it's some of the most realistic battle scenes I've ever seen in a movie it's it's just unbelievable the way that he's able to with performance and camera and just everything put together a movie that on all cylinders really fires. And the movie is more than just a, a, a movie about war and battle. It's all, like you said, it's a love story as well. And, and whenever you're on a set, a serious movie like this, there has to be some kind of something to relieve probably some of the stress of that. And I hear Mel is a legendary prankster. He is. So did he do anything to keep you guys Well, I would always hang out. Me and myself and Mel and Andrew Garfield, who's also incredible in the movie as uh, Desmond Doss, we would always hang out. And on Halloween, we went out um, on Halloween, and I bought some silly masks just for kind of fun. And Mel had this mask that's done by like a professional makeup. I mean, it looks like a real person. It's incredible. He looks, he looked a little bit like Nick Nolte. It looked like a Nick Nolte <laughs> mask. So he wore that, but he, like, it didn't look like he had a mask on. So he would be, we'd go out to like a restaurant on Halloween and someone would be talking. And they thought, well, this, I'm talking to a gentleman who looks slightly like Nick Nolte until he would grab and peel his face off, and then underneath, obviously, was Mel, and people's reactions were so shocked that someone was taking their face off, and then it was Mel Gibson. Um, so, yeah, he always has, he has a great sense of humor, and he's a lot of fun to be around. And um, you know what? You're, we mentioned you're a big Cubs fan. We saw you sing on the end of the show earlier singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game, Game 4. Great voice, by the way. Thank you. Yep, you carried it. But what did you do last night? How did you celebrate? You weren't at the game. You were I wasn't the at the so. game, so I watched it with uh, Mel, Luke Bracey, who's from the movie, uh, uh, my friend Alan and Jen and Bruce, we all just kind of watched it together. It was unbelievable. You couldn't ask for a more dramatic game than that. And you said that you ended up staying up later than you I thought. I ended up staying yeah. up later than I thought. To unbelievable, watch. right? It was well, you know, it. you've been in those championships that are that th that close. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, how still, do you, I'm still shaking from those. But how do you describe those moments when that's happening and you realize that everything's down to a couple of plays? It all kind of goes blank in your mind and you just kick in the overdrive and it's, you're anxious. But you just kind of get through it, mm -hmm. and you just hope for the best. And thank goodness for me, Eli Manning, David Tyree gave us their best. That's right. I'm, I'm happy for that. And, and for the Chicago Cubs. Yes. But we got something for you, man. Yeah. You're you're in New York. You're in New York City. We want to bring some Chicago here, baby, for you. I like so that. we got some deep dish oh, pizza there, there you go. from Emmett's nice. here in Manhattan, nice. and we got a little Chicago Cubs Very swag nice. for you, brother. How about it? What's there to talk about? World champion. Right? Exactly. World champion. World champion. Are you gonna share that? Uh, I might have. To, I might have to do this like we're in prison. Get my arm out in front of it. <laughs> yeah, I'll share it for sure. Uh, hey, good to see you. Hey, congratulations to you on the Thank movie. Hacksaw Ridge.
Select Theaters right now and opens nationwide tomorrow. Congratulations to the Cubs.